So, good morning, people of the internet. And here it is in uh, full daylight. The um, dirty, <laughs> very dirty, smart car. Um, first job today, well, a couple of jobs. Um, had the battery on charge for 24 hours now and it's really not doing anything. It's, uh, it's absolutely dead. So, um, first job, get a new battery. And as if by magic, well, after a short journey anyway, uh, a new battery is here. So, uh, yeah, let's get it done. So, if you know how to change a battery on a smart car, uh, you can skip this bit. Uh, but first of all, the bracket that holds the thing down, 10 mil, that's got to come off. So, we'll have that off first of all, nice and easy, just like that. Want a mill bolt there. I fear we should just lift it up. There it pops. Excuse the noisy van. Somebody's having some building work done around here, and uh, yeah. Oh, that's attached to the cable, so you can't get rid of that completely. Strange idea. Right. Next, we take off the terminals. Positive first, apparently. Yeah, whichever way. So again, 10 mil on top. Um, hasn't got the bolt on the side, it's got the bolt on the top. Strange one, this. Undo that, and then wiggle, wiggle. There you go. Whoop. The battery strap falls on you. There you go. So we have the positive off. Let's get the negative off and give her, give her a bit of a heave ho. There you go. Under the negative terminal. Pop that out of the way. Uh, and it's only a little battery, so we only need a, a little and then the bracket goes and falls on the battery, like that. Yeah, that's a great design. Well done. Yeah. Oh, that was hard than it needed to be. There you go. Right, one battery out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we seem to have inherited a load of crap and a, <laughs> and a key. Um, from behind the battery. Okay. <laughs> a little vent out the side before we put it in. You usually have a pipe that comes out of there and, uh, and goes to some sort of vent hole, but yeah, seems not on this one. Better be fine. Neither worry. Right, let's get her in. Heave. Oh! God, this bloody bracket. <laughs> Yeah, the worst bit about changing the battery, <laughs> sorry for the camera work as well, is this bloody bracket gets in the way at every blooming turn you take. And I can see what's going to happen if I'm not careful. We're going to arc the terminals and we're going to have sparks everywhere. <sighs> Dumb idea, smart. Dumb idea. Okay, interesting. Um, the right battery for the car, but... I must be doing something wrong here. That doesn't look right. Well, definitely got it in the right slot. Um, I think uh, prudence would say that needs a bit of wood or something under it to keep it firm. Well, I wouldn't say it's the prettiest job ever, but I've got the wood in place. The battery is solid. That'll do for me. And let me show you behind here. So that's back in place. That backing board there and then all this carpet goes back in like that right all very strange but there you go we have replaced the battery simple as and with the mat back in place you'd never know we've been there right next problem at the moment the key fobs are not doing anything now both, I've checked the batteries in, both had a look inside, but as you can see, we're getting absolutely nothing. So the first job was obviously to replace the battery, to get that up and running and make it good. Now I've got to figure out what's going on. Um, so I think the first thing is, plug in the scanner. 
So of course after playing Hunt the OBDC port, um, because Smart seems to like to put them in all sorts of different places on all different sorts of models and all different sort of years, um, this one, if I can get you up there, oh, we don't want that flashing light, nope, um, is where we've been already. Um, if I can get you around, in there. Of course it is. Right, we're plugged in. Diagnostics, let's see, let's see what we've got. It's been a while since I've used this and I can't remember, it's not a touch screen. Right, diagnostics. Smart. Not so smart, but smart. Um, 4.2, yeah, that seems about right. Crossplay, nope. Diesel engine, no. Gasoline engine. Um, to OT, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Smart scan, right, let's see what we got. You probably can't see a lot of this. Let me try and get the glare off it a bit. There we go, that might be a little bit better. Right, let it go through and let's see what it comes up with. The answer is not a lot. Let's try it with the ignition on. Maybe it's that. Yeah, it likes the ignition on. Right, I'm going to go through these felt codes and see if there's anything at all that relates to any of the problems I've got currently. Bear with. Right, well, the error codes didn't give me anything at all, just stuff related to the battery being disconnected or low. Um, just looking at the central locking at the moment, it says the two keys taught into remote control uh, keys present or whatever that, that That's gibberish, isn't it? There are two taught in remote control keys but yeah anyway right um but when i press the button on the uh remote control itself i'm getting nothing at all so that's a bit concerning yeah definitely getting nothing from well both keys i've got this one here i'm frantically pressing buttons but it is showing inactive hmm damn Right, so looking at the list, it does know when the doors are open. I don't know if it's a positive sign or a negative sign, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think it's all down to these keys. That is really concerning, because I'm guessing to get keys programmed is going to be a tad expensive. Well, I really am getting nowhere at the moment. Um, I've got some more investigation to do on, uh, on these, I believe. I think this is the problem at the moment. I don't know why, because the car was running, apparently, um, before it was parked up. So I've got some more batteries coming for these today, just in case. I don't think it is the batteries, because when I tested them, there was voltage there. But um, at the moment, there seems to be a problem where it's not seeing the key. Hmm. Some investigation to be done, I think. Right, I think that'll do for now. Let's, uh, let's hit the internet. Google!